Hi, my name is Ann Reed. I'm a pediatric rheumatologist. I would like to talk to you today about autoinflammatory disease, or what also is called periodic fever syndromes. These often start in childhood or in adolescence, where a child will have episodic fevers that are unexplained, and evaluations never reveal an infection or other cause. In addition, children can have problems with their joints, sometimes even swelling of their joints. They can have weakness or pain in their muscles, as well as they can have rashes, sometimes belly pain, and other findings. Many times children have seen many physicians, and in those evaluations there's been no cause identified. We know that there's genetic causes for many of these conditions, including conditions uh, termed TRAP syndrome, which used to be called Hibernian fever, hyper-IgD syndrome, FMF, F, or familiar Mediterranean fever, Nomadzinka syndrome, also other conditions called PFAPA, where we at this time don't know any genetic cause. Children can be evaluated, and it's usually best at these multidisciplinary institutions or as a team approach, so a child can be evaluated for infection problems, immune problems, uh, as well as by pediatric rheumatologists who many times can see them and do some genetic testing for these uh, autoinflammatory conditions. This allows then this team approach to decide on the most uh, appropriate therapeutic interventions, of which we have many right now that are very targeted to treat these disorders. Uh, most of children and adolescents can do extremely well once they've been identified for which uh, autoinflammatory condition they do have, and also when therapeutic interventions can um, be initiated. So thank you.